Hello and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, it's uh, very late because it's been like two weeks. Uh, that late. Doctor, it doesn't. Well, it depends on when they get it up. <laughs> Doctor Who review of the Christmas special. Um, I promise I'll do it. So here it is. The Luke review. Uh, last Christmas was the special. I have Michael here again. I was uh, going to say, are you going to introduce me or are you just going to leave me just sat here? I just just assume he is there. <laughs> uh, I have Michael here again. He's um, I'm also a big Doctor Who fan. Yes. So it'll beginning be... to make a habit of appearing in your videos. First things first. What do you think about the whole? Clara possibly departing uh, thing. I don't really know. Because be there was a lot of rumours going about Clara possibly leaving after the Christmas special. Well, it wasn't yeah. confirmed that she was for Series 9 until it had been broadcast and yes. then it was confirmed when they knew she was carrying on. So Well yeah. Um, I don't know actually, I don't quite know how to feel about it. How do you feel? Because you like do you like Clara? I do, I like Clara. I've kind of warmed to Clara. I still haven't quite warmed to Peter Capaldi yet. But I'm no. giving room for that. No, I quite like Clara, although I think this next run should be her last. Um, I think a, a companion should only do a certain amount of series before it gets to the point where, well, okay. We need a new face. We need a new face. You mentioned the Twelfth Doctor, so your yes. thoughts on the Twelfth Doctor. You were, you've been unsure. Apprehensive, I mean, but then I say that, but I've been apprehensive about each reincarnations when yeah, you start. You said you warmed to Matt Smith a lot quicker. Yeah, I did warm to, to Matt Smith a lot quicker than I warmed to... Uh, Tenant, but then I came into Doctor Who with, well, it was with Eccleston. But what did I, you? Because you said you, the first one you saw was New Earth. No, I remember sitting down and watching The Empty Child. It was one of my earliest memories. A good classic story. Yeah, so, no, I think I've wanted to drop Doctor already. I think um, he's more alien and he's, I know he's lost, he's a lot less friendlier than his previous series. Yeah, he, that has come across very clearly. He's, um, but he's as you can tell in this special, he has warmed. To Clara, Clara, especially. Yeah. I mean, there was the saying at the end of um, Death in Heaven where, um, do you think I regard you so little, then the trying will make, make a difference or something like that. Yeah. And funny. I thought, well, okay, he's still, he's still the same character. Just... Thoughts on the monsters? We did actually Google the name. Uh, they're mostly known as the Dream Crabs, uh, sort of adaptations of, of stuff that was of the face huggers face from, like the, from the Alien aliens. series. Which um, they quoted. Which they did quote, yes. Um, there's an alien, there's a, a horror movie called Alien. No wonder mm. they keep invading you. So they, their actual name is the Cantrafari. I got that right. Yeah, you pronounced it right as well. Uh, what did you think of them? I thought they were bloody creepy. They were weird. I, I, although I really did enjoy the fact that they are dormant unless you really think about them. Which I should stop sure. thinking about them. <laughs> You might be in a dream now. Who knows? It, 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 this this episode very um, rightly so reminded me of the Inception. Inception. Yes. The Christopher Nolan directed uh, blockbuster starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I recommend you watch that as well. Definitely. Uh, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed that. There were layers to the dreams in which you were, and you weren't sure which was reality. The story as a whole, did you think it was a strong story? It was. Written it by was. Moffat again. Yes. Uh, written by Moffat. I'm. Yeah, it's, it was a good story. Moffat did write Empty Child, so you can't yeah. really judge him. Well, writing. no, and he, Link. individually he can write really good stories. When he's a showrunner, it's, it, it's when it's showrun, it's very hard to keep track of what's going on and where. I think they, they I think it's a bit easy at the moment, but the, the, you couldn't tell what was a dream what wasn't in this episode, which was kind of right. But yeah. I think it was alright. It's a strong story. There's a good set of characters, and I really, and um. It's a Christmas special, it's definitely the creepiest Christmas special we've ever had. So, the next thing is our, is the guest stars, I did mention them a minute ago. Yes. Uh, we had, I've no, I know a few particular ones, obviously Nick Frost was the main one, he played uh, Santa Claus. Yes. Uh, we're not going to spoil the story too much about his involvement in this, but uh, did you think his betrayal of the, of the great man himself uh, was very good considering? It was interesting and it was very different because everyone pictures Santa Claus as this happy, jolly, he did, do that. he did do that though. He, he did, did do, do that, that, but it was very much, he was very... A little bit more adult. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of the Because you see him, I've seen him in stuff like Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz and uh, World's End and yeah. Paul. And he's been in all those films and they're all a bit grittier after the, that's, that's the Cornetto trilogy yeah. it's called. Um, <laughs> so to see him as this sort of character is really weird. Uh, we also had um, a couple of others I remember, Nathan McMullen, who played the wolf. Yes. Um, Elf. He was the elf, one of the elves. Elves. They, I like those because they had this sort of like. They, uh, watching it, I looked at it and I immediately thought me and you as the elves. Because no, right. I'm, I'm the other one, Ian, are I? You're, you're, yeah, you're Ian. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're always trying to sort of one up each other. Mm. 
they was always trying to say something that would either one up them or put them ahead of the other one. But I, I recognise the actor. I don't know if you would. Um, I believe from Misfits. Mm. Did you ever watch that series, Misfits? Vaguely. Yeah, that's the only thing I know him from. Yeah. And the Edward couple of houses, obviously Dan Starkey was in it again, you would better know him as Strax. Strax. And this is the first time we've seen him out of... Uh, we get to actually costume. see his actual mug. Yeah, I mean, actual uh, face, actual not actual mugshot. So, I, I think he was alright at the end. It was uh, good, actually. You weren't given enough of the elves, though, I think. I, I, I no, the elves, the elves were... Although they say good things come in small batches, and the elves were fantastic in their small little batches when we did see them. So. And then the last one I want to mention is Michael Charlton, who played Professor Albert, uh, the only character to die in this episode, actually, I think. The only character to actually die. Yeah. Um, Which was unfortunate. He was a son he of. He was one of the sons of Patrick Charlton, the second Doctor. Um, his, uh, his brother, David, has been in four episodes so far. He yeah. was Professor Hobbs in Midnight, he was in The Curse of Paladon, and he was in a couple of his father's stories. And back in the 60s, so but Dave Michael did sort of say um, he did a Christmas special, so it counts as two episodes. So he's two dead, so he's, he's four two story wise. <laughs> <laughs> it's one story. It's, the Christmas special doesn't count for two stories, right? And then we're going to quickly mention it, compare it to the Christmas specials. Have you got a particular favourite Christmas special? Oh, from, from the Christmas Invasion onwards. Oh. I know mine immediately. So. Um, it doesn't top Voyage of the Damned, but then Voyage of the Damned, I did mention in the previous video, is one of my favourite uh, episodes of all time. I don't know, it beats stuff like the snow, uh, the snowman was alright, but it beats yeah. stuff like the Doctor, the Wind, the Wardrobe was a bit naff. Yeah. Um, I didn't really like, um, The Runaway Bride. No. Well, Catherine Tate was good in that. I'm gonna go with, well like you say, Voyage of the Damned, being on the Titanic, with Kylo uh, Minogue. Yeah. I thought that was really good. I actually really enjoyed that episode. But I think one of the pinnacle Christmas specials was when you see the first time you see Tennant's face and right. his and he, and he kind of sort of goes, Am I ginger? I mean it's gonna Voyage of the Damned is at the top of my top of my list. I'm, I mean, just because I remember seeing Tennant in the in the pyjamas and he kind of goes about being ginger. Yeah, but that was, that was the Christmas Invasion though. Yeah. So that will be second then on your list. So, so it's, it's up there. It's up there. So yeah, it was a good, good start to the first year Capaldi's run of stories. Um, it didn't feel like there was much of a gap this time, obviously, because it had only been about a month between that and the end of the last series, so... We just gotta wait for the next one. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you yes, for joining me. More than pleasure. Uh, more click than on. Pleasure. I, I'll leave a couple of links below to my review of series eight and to my general discussion about Doctor Who in previous uh, vloggy things. These are going to be more reviews because it's more of a review and it's not a loop vlog and stuff like that. So you will have there'll be your two minutes, two of them. Yes. It will just be something I haven't really. Your, your individual yet. review section. Yeah. So uh, I, will, I will do other Doctor things other than Doctor Who. I've got. Uh, where, where this goes up in, in order we filmed it, but I have got a zombie apocalypse tag we've done, and yes. uh, there is more unboxing coming as well. So there'll be quite a few this this month, I hope. So um, that's that. Yes. Hopefully, I'm going to try and be more more part of these vlogs because I really quite enjoy them. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for joining me. <laughs> My pleasure as always. And we'll see you in the next video. There's a lot more to come. Yes. So until then. Until next time. Bye. Ciao. So thanks for watching. No worries. Not I'm you. <laughs> well, I'm saying no worries because I know full well that I'm probably going to end up. You'll probably watch it. I will be watching you, myself. You, uh, I thought you were saying thank you for me being a part of it. How is that? <laughs> we'll do that one again. <laughs>